Hey, so what's going on guys? Me here with Drug Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So as you can see, I'm actually back in the Sephiro. I just collected it about uh, an hour ago. Uh, and it's been missing for a while because I actually sent it out to get the bodywork done. So I will be showing you guys some pictures of uh, what has been done. So I went out and actually got the bumper done because the bumper had a big crack in it and I was like tired of editing and tired of trying to gum the bumper back together because it kept on breaking apart. So I actually went out and did a proper body work. They actually did the fiberglass back and also fill in those cracked areas and also did the fitment of the bumper as well as the bracket. So the bracket is the most important part in holding the bumper together. If you have been following my Instagram page, you have known how like uh, wide the bumper is. So it kind of flexes a bit. So they actually reinforced it with the bracket. So now the bumper is like way more solid than it was before so let me bring you guys out and show you guys what has been done because i've only did the front portion of the car the back is still in progress because i'm thinking of adding a gt wing but i'm thinking of also getting an exhaust so yeah i'm still in between that because the back if i do the exhaust i will have to fiberglass back the the part where they actually cut out for the current exhaust which is kind of ugly in my opinion and i want to get like uh, probably a hks or blitz exhaust or maybe an rs exhaust uh i'm still considering the sound wise because i do like some rumbly noise from the rb25 engine all right so let me quickly show you guys uh around the front of the car and we'll talk more about it all right guys so you can see the front of the car is actually done up really really nice uh the crack right there is now fully patched up let me show you guys closer look so you can see right here this had a massive crack right here uh and also they had cutouts for the intercooler piping which i'm going to be doing later on but right now uh, i decided to just patch it back first to make it look nice at least for the photos and the videos we're going to be taking for the instagram channel so you can see right here there was a big ass crack here but now it's gone it's patched up really really nice they polished it and it actually looks really really good so this portion right here also had some damage because of the impact on the bottom lip right here so this part actually came off but now they have actually done it really really solid you can see right here really really sturdy very nice job and they also did the bracket so now the bumper it is very nice very straight of course uh, the slight lip right here is because the hood is kind of <laughs> bent a bit uh, the hood we will look into that in the near future uh, but anyways it looks really really good all the cracks on this side right here has all been done up they have actually sprayed back to the color of the car which is really really awesome i didn't expect them to get to match actually the color of the car because of how old this paint is versus the paint right here um and you can see right here they actually matched it very well this is the old paint and this is the new paint but you can see from any angle it looks really similar so that cost me about a thousand ringgit a thousand odd ringgit and then here there was a very big crack of course you can't see it now but there was a big crack here the whole paint was coming off and it was rusty inside so what i did was that you just scraped it off all the paint sanded it down put a new layer of primer and a coat of paint so now it looks really good and as you can see the color matches perfectly so very good job very good job and of course they did up for me the inside of the fender as well so now let me open the engine compartment and show you guys uh, what has been done to the inner frame all right, so this is the aftermath. Of course, yeah, I need some cleaning as usual. You can see the dirt right here, all the dust from all the sanding and stuff like that, but they have actually aligned this properly. Now, there are proper screws right here, not cable ties, that's what I used before, because I didn't have the screws. Um, the light here, however, is a different story. It's still cracked, slightly, ever so slightly. Uh, but I plan to get a new lamp later on when I do the full build, but currently, Cable ties work. I mean, with old cars, cable ties always work. And yes, the guy actually replaced the nut behind here. You can see right here, this nut right here. So it looks really, really good. It looks really straight. The most important is it looks straight because the earlier one, before I did this, it looked really, really bad actually, in my opinion. But now, everything is nice. Of course, uh, before that, I did do some basic maintenance stuff. So actually, the hood release of this car actually snapped. Uh, it finally broke after tons of pulling the cable finally snapped so let me show you guys so you can see right here dazzle ejad thanks for actually doing this for me it's really really nice 
it's properly screwed on so now you can just pull this with no issues right there and this is uh, of course it's a half cut one but yeah it does a job and it definitely works as intended the clutch however uh, had some issues with the clutch the clutch pump in fact so I actually upgraded my clutch pump to a bigger clutch pump so yeah there's some minor upgrades which will actually benefit the drivability of the car other than that the car is still the same condition of course it needs way more cleaning than before because of the dust but I will definitely get it done so other than that uh, check the wheel bearings behind check the differential everything is good to go um, so far so good everything has been working well fingers crossed uh, but anyways this has been a very quick video of the Safiro 831 and uh, of course the build will be coming soon but right now still hustling to get the job done um, so if you guys like this video hope you guys like this short update and I will catch you guys in the next video of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also follow the Instagram page at Godzilla underscore 939 and I'll see you guys there